Hello. It's Easter week. Maybe you've finished your chocolate and taken your cards or other things down. And did you know that cream eggs are five grams lighter this year than they were in 2022? Now immediately before today's verse in John 6, 28, it says that the people asked Jesus, what must we do to do the work God requires? As Paul says in Romans 10, this reflects their reliance on rituals, sacraments and other good works so that they might earn their own salvation. But in Easter week and going forward, we remember that we preach the centrality of the cross. It's not a theological equation about us. My faith plus my works equals my salvation. If you want a short and powerful story that teaches the gospel of grace, God's reward at Christ's expense. I reckon you can't beat the story of the thief crucified next to Jesus. How does he fit into your theology? No baptism, communion, spiritual gifts. No mission trip, volunteering, financial giving, church clothes. He'd never been to a prayer meeting, a Bible study, or written an essay on the atonement. He didn't say the sinner's prayer, and he had a criminal record we assume so serious he'd receive the death penalty. All those other things we do because we have faith, we have belief, we know Jesus as our saviour. So at the gates of heaven, what might we say? If it starts with, I am this and I did that, I think we've got it wrong. It should start with Jesus. What would the thief say? Probably something like, because the man on the middle cross said I could come here. In the perhaps more well-known verse in John, John 3, 16, it says, whoever believes him. In today's verse, Jesus is clear. Salvation is based on belief, believing in the one the Father has sent. Taking faith in the ineffable grace of the Father and of Jesus the Son. So Lord, today and every day, sustain us in our belief and in our faith, so that we may study your word, be open to your spirit, and preach the cross of Christ. Amen.